Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial in uh, Python and today's topic is going to be about exceptions. So to start with exceptions, let's start with the definition. So exceptions are uh, the way in Python that we uh, say that something is wrong. Uh, so there's several different types of exceptions and let's start with uh, uh, syntax error uh, so let's go to PyCharm and uh, let's create a syntax error so for example if we have a equals and then Let's create a string hello, but let's say we forget the last quotation, double quote. Uh, let, let's say if we like forget to like close the quote, then uh, we can see here that the syntax error is being raised. And this is the Python interpreter that tells us that, uh, you know, there's, there's something wrong with this type of code uh, and it points to the exact line it says a equals quotation hello uh, these type of exceptions are raised to let the developer know to like fix the line and obviously the way we fix it is end it with the quotation uh, these type of uh, syntax errors are mainly uh, done by new python learners and uh, it helps them in terms of uh, learning like correct proper pr python syntax uh, there's also the type error so for example let's say we add a plus b where a is a string and b is an integer so if we add these two things we get the type error and this pretty much means that we are trying to do something which is not possible and this is sort of a runtime error and this occurs when python doesn't detect anything wrong with the code with the syntax but then when it runs the code it figures out that hello and one can't be added together and then it raises this error or exception uh, which we'll look into a bit later let's look into something called value error uh, for this we need to import the math library So let x equals math dot square root. Let's use the square root function. And if we do square root of let's see uh, four, then we don't know that this is. Um, so let's print this out. Let's print out x. We know that this is uh, two. Square root of, square root of four is two. But let's say we do negative 10. Uh, what we will see now is it's raising a value error. So, and this indicates that even though the function has been given a proper type of um, variable, so negative 10 is still an integer, but the value error indicates that uh, it's not an appropriate value. And so these are uh, some different types of errors. The first two are not possible uh, to be handled. The syntax error, uh, so the learner has to learn better syntax in order to avoid those errors. Uh, for the value error, 
uh, in this one, in this case, this is a possible thing to be handled. Uh, the, the second one, it was type error, and that error is not, uh, we can't handle those type of errors also. So let's try handling this error. And the way we do that is using the try block, try and accept. So this try block uh, will try the code inside this block. So the code inside the try is math.square root uh, with the negative 10 as the parameter. So the accept in here we get an exception as e and let's quickly print out the type of e. And let's say um, inappropriate let's run this code um, so what's happening in this code is that the code inside the try block is being executed and we are catching the exception or the error uh, in the accept block. Uh, so we have this exception syntax here and this ex exception uh, indicates a class. So all of the errors that we looked at, they are inheriting from this ex exception class and the very top base class for exceptions is called uh, base exception. So the type here right now is being printed out as value error as we found out that this uh, math.square root function uh, is raising um, an, a value error and we're catching it in the accept block and we're printing out the inappropriate value uh, to indicate that the negative 10 um, yeah the parameter was in a proper value uh, let's look at another one uh, the next one is called zero division error uh, let's see we create A function called divide which takes in a variable called x and let's call let's create a variable called division value and let's divide uh, 1 by x So let's send in a value of 1 so we can see here that nothing is being printed out uh, this means that there is no exception that's being raised by the divide uh, function and we can also have else nothing wrong is happening or let's see no exception is raised so we see here in the else so there's try accept and then else so the try block executes the divide function except 
tries to catch any exception that is being raised and if there is no uh, exception being raised the else block is executed and we have here no exception is raised inside the else block uh, now let's send in uh, zero uh, the problem now is that the x gets the value zero now and we're doing a division by zero which doesn't make sense in math and let's see what happens we see here that we get um, so we're printing so we're catching the exception zero division error inside the accept block and we're printing the type of the error e and it's printing uh, inappropriate value but um, we can be more specific inside the accept block and we can we only catch division errors so the accept block now only catches the zero division error and now we can see print uh, division by zero so the question is uh, what if we also have uh, a map dot square root um, error on top. Let's say we have negative ten here. So we have a value error in front of the zero division error. Uh, since we're not catching the value error uh, this causes a problem and we can see here that uh, we get the math domain error so we can't um, necessarily catch this value because we are only trying to catch the zero division error uh, let's see if we put in accept value error And we say inappropriate so in the case that we also catch the value error we don't see the error inside the uh, the Python interpreter but instead we see our print statement being printed out as inappropriate value Uh, the one other thing that we can learn from this execution of code is inside the try block it only executes uh, the lines of code uh, until it catches the first error so after this error um, so the after the math dot square root error none of the code after it is executed so this div value 1 over x is not executed. So let's try a print statement. Uh, this won't be printed. And if we run this code, uh, we can see that after the math.square root, the, this print statement is not being printed out. So so these value errors, zero division errors, are all part of classes. And these all inherit from exception classes, as I explained before. And as a result, we are also able to create our own types of um, exceptions. So 
let's try creating a class let's call it the hello error and let's inherit from exception and let's give it a pass so so the way we want to do this is let's see um, let's see in the divide function <clears throat> or let's see run hello So we want to raise this hello error error exception only if uh, we pass in x with the hello string. So if x equals equals hello, then this is the case that we want to raise a hello error. So in here we're trying to catch this hello error and if we catch it we want to say did you say hello so let's try running this so right now we're not printing anything because we're not passing in the parameter hello in the else, let's put out uh, nothing wrong. But let's say we send in the hello string. Uh, it's gonna say, did you say hello? Because in the accept, we are printing, did you say hello? Because we're catching the hello error exception uh, which we created and finally uh, we're going to do the finally uh, block inside the try uh, accept finally uh, exception handling thing and what this finally thing does is for if uh, let's say we have any sorts of cleanup that we need to do uh, for example let's say two processes are communicating and while running this code uh, one of the processes uh, runs into an error uh, let's say we want to communicate to this other process saying um, or send a message saying that uh, something has gone wrong. So those sorts of cleanup things can be done inside the finally uh, block. But since there's no processes here, or this is just a demonstration thing, uh, we just say um, goodbye or something like that. And this finally case, uh, the try block executes no matter if an exception is raised or if there is no exception that's being uh, handled so if we do a b then this goodbye uh, is also uh, printed out so that's it for the try uh, exception handling uh, if you like this video uh, please give it a a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and of course mama made it <laughs>